Okay, this is another day for you. I'm making, go ahead and make these since I'm in the kind of a mood here to do it and I'm rocking and rolling here. But welcome back to today's video. Um, today I'm going to talk real briefly about Henry Groovers. I'm covering the, covering the sources that I got for this. And Henry Gro Groovers' visions were absolutely, um, if you haven't, you haven't seen them, I'll try to link the article down below. Um, but they're absolutely amazing in detail. And um, they're not very long. He's got two of them. He had a 1986 vision and then he had a 1990 vision. And then after this, like I said in the previous video, I will cover um, the 1968 um, Norwegian woman's vision, which gives some real telltale signs. Also, I want to say briefly that Dmitry Dudeman said that um, right before we get struck that we would go to war with China. So that's another thing we can watch for. I just, I, I can't, I, I just cannot express my excitement. When I first started studying um, a prophecy, I thought we actually had to go, I was in the post-trib sort of mindset, I thought we had to go through the tribulation. So I was like, how much rice do I need? <laughs> so kind of like, how do I survive this? I mean, it's one thing to just up and die for Jesus, but another thing you think you gotta go a ways into it. You know, economy collapsing, everything falling apart, and you think you gotta to muck your way through it, and you got little kids, you know, you start panicking. You're like, oh no, this is coming, I see it's coming. You know, how do I, how do I deal with this? I didn't understand that in, in uh, Revelations 12, and I can even show you uh, in a couple more places about the gathering, which will be really exciting. But, um, so let's just read a little bit. He said he was in Wales on top of Eagle Tower. Okay, I'm just kind of skip and get to the juicy parts. Let's see. He was looking over the Irish Sea towards the North Sea. He was looking at Norway, Sweden, Denmark, the tip of Scotland, Greenland, Iceland, up in that area. And all of a sudden, I was up above the earth, looking down upon the earth like a globe. As I looked down uh, on the earth, I saw all of these massive amount of all kinds of ships and planes they were coming from up above Norway out of this inlet, okay? And they headed down between the United States and Europe. They literally cover the whole Atlantic. So I want to say this. That will probably be in the news. We will actually probably see that in the news, okay? Because it will take a while for those ships to travel all the way down. And they came down. Okay, let's see. I'm here. They headed down between the United States and Europe. They literally covered the whole Atlantic. Then I wanted to see what was happening in, to the United States. I looked over on the globe at the United States. I saw coming out of the United States these radio communication towers. I saw the jagged lines like they draw to show the communications are coming out. All of a sudden, as I was looking down on them, they begin to sparkle down on the earth like dust. I thought, oh no, they're not getting through. I, they don't know what is happening. They're totally oblivious. But I know it takes ships several days to travel. So before those communications go out, um, Russia said they have technology that we don't even know about. So apparently they're able to blind us completely, our technology completely, like they're able just to shut us off. And the Bible says that we will be sitting, um, I forgot the exact words it uses, but the gates will be wide open, the scripture said, and, and um, basically we're sitting ducks. Um, we're blinded. And that our, our remember our, uh, leaders will run, run one to the other to give a message. And that makes you realize that maybe they actually have to take the message by f on foot because our satellite communications are gone. I thought I saw somebody pull in, but they just kept going. So, okay. They go, and then I begin to see all of these submarines emerging from under the surface. I was surprised at how close they were to our borders. They were in our territorial waters. This is the United States we're talking about. Then I saw the missiles come out of them. They hit, hit the eastern coastal cities of the United States. I looked over across the country where my family was, over on the northwest side, and I saw submarines. I saw the missiles come out and hitting the western coastal cities. I cried out and I said, oh God, oh God, when will this be? And what will be the sign of its coming? Okay, and he said he heard an audible voice speak to me and say, When Russia opens her doors and lets the masses go, the free world will occupy themselves with transporting, housing, feeding, and caring for the masses, and will let down their weapons and cry peace and safety. Then sudden destruction will come, and then this is when it will come. So, I, I didn't print it all. I don't think he had a printed version, but I came across a guy who had an open vision, and he saw eight nukes go off in Israel. 
not Israel, in Ukraine. And that was the final, like the final thing in Ukraine. So if that was true, um, that could be why they consider the war is over. I mean, or whatever. But something happens, there's either some kind of a peace treaty that happens. If that person's um, dream or vision wasn't true, then there will be some kind of a peace treaty that lets that causes Russia to let everybody go. Maybe they have a government change. We, we're already seeing that in the news. And so I'm excited. This is something that you can watch for. And this is something that I am watching for. And um, the second one is more about... Um, so I don't know if I will read that in this one. Let's see here. It's about how the soldiers try to come in and God chases them out with the, with the volcanoes out of California and says, I have still have work for my people to do. So that, so I thought that that was, that was really cool. Um, I guess I could read it. It won't be too long here, but they said, he, I saw a 1981, I saw missiles coming out of the, out of the water of the Pacific Ocean. Airplanes coming in towards certain cities along the northwest, and when it looked like they would do their devastation, I heard a voice from heaven like thunder say, watch what I will do. The mountains along the coastal range began to shake and tremble, and puffs of smoke shot out of them in all directions into the paths of the missiles in the plains, and the missiles just hit the ground. So the angels are basically knocking missiles and things out. God will protect certain areas, okay? And one person said, um, I don't know if it's him that not even the polluted air will be allowed into some areas. Because, you know, God has promises to his kids. And remember, there's a whole group that's protected in the earth. So, the smoke had destroyed the missile's ability to navigate to fly through the air, and they didn't hit their targets. It was also like shields or domes came over certain cities. Even the Oh, here it is. Even the contaminated air couldn't go into those areas and went around them. And that's what my daughter saw. What my daughter saw is that everything in our fridge just replenished itself, just like Jesus did with the fishes. And people could come up to the edge that were left out in, like they were, they, she said they were grayish and almost looked zombie-ish, like, kind of. But they could come up and they could feel the edge of it, but they couldn't come in. The people that weren't of God that were left, it was so sad. But she said that we were going on missions to certain places and coming back into that uh, circle. And that fits, and that was before I knew about this. I hadn't read this yet. My children had those dreams. They had never heard of this before either. So I thought that was really cool. I saw many vehicles coming in and in on our waters, like ships opened up in front and all these personal carrying um, things came out armored right up to our beaches and all these thousands of people began to head out. I saw the proud look on the faces of those who were driving the vehicles and I heard again the thunderous voice from heavens, watch what I will do. Suddenly mountains puffed out smoke and rivers of golden lava began flowing down a path right across the beaches in front of the invaders. Terror came on their faces and they turned back and headed to the sea, fleeing for their lives as the water behind them turned to steam. And the Lord said, I have people in this land that I will not let them touch. For they are mine. They are my chosen, and I will keep my chosen safe, for I have work for them to do yet in this land and in many lands. And how cool is that? What was awesome is the fact that my own children saw that in a dream before I even, they knew about this or that I knew about this. And when I read that, my heart just sang. It meant that those dreams were of God. That it was a full confirmation. So a huge, I think the biggest portion, my honest feeling, the 144,000 that are caught, caught up to God and to the throne, I think they return to work and possibly be the ones to actually die for in the courtrooms, you know, that present the gospel. I think they may actually come back and give their lives. I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know it all yet. I just know some parts. <laughs> So I'm really excited about it and that God is going to, he, he brought them, he says he brought them, um, and I hadn't, you know, hadn't really thought about it, but you know, by bringing Israel back together like that and allowing them to return like that, um, really set the stage for the end of times for them to, I mean, cause how could you destroy Jerusalem unless it had been set up? So... But it's not the actual gathering. God says the big gathering, like the gathering out of Egypt. 
he says, I will gather them again, meaning only one time. And then that gathering is described. I'll find more verses or try to remember to find more verses on the gathering. And you'll see that the actual gather gathering is that gathering of the rapture of the dead of everybody. It's him gathering all his people up and coming and they come back with him when he comes on his horse and when all the world sees him and we'll be coming back with him. And that's going to be the gathering the main gathering so i'm excited i hope you're excited i hope this blessed you in some way if you have other things you'd like to say or testimonies or whatever you can feel free to put it down in the comment section below and until next time uh i hope you uh find many revelations in your bible and so i'll see you next time and bye for now